Federalist Paper 3, Part 2. At present, I mean only to consider it as it respects security for the preservation of peace and tranquility, as well as against dangers from foreign arms and influence, as from dangers of the like kind arising from domestic causes. As the former of these comes first in order, it is proper it should be the first discussed. Let us therefore proceed to examine whether the people are not right in their opinion that a cordial union under an efficient national government affords them the best security that can be devised against hostilities from abroad. The number of wars which have happened or will happen in the world will always be found to be in proportion to the number and weight of the causes, whether real or pretended, which provoke or invite them. If this remark be just, it becomes useful to inquire whether so many just causes of war are likely to be given by United America as by disunited America. For if it should turn out that United America will probably give the fewest, then it will follow that in this respect the Union tends most to preserve the people in a state of peace with other nations. The just causes of war, for the most part, arise either from violations of treaties or from direct violence. America has already formed treaties with no less than six foreign nations, and all of them, except Prussia, are maritime and therefore able to annoy and injure us. She has also extensive commerce with Portugal, Spain, and Britain, and with respect to the two latter, has in addition the circumstance of neighborhood to attend to. It is of high importance to the peace of America that she observe the laws of nations towards all these powers and to me it appears evident that this will be more perfectly and punctually done by one national government than it could be either by 13 separate states or by three or four distinct confederacies. For this opinion, various reasons may be assigned. This paper is written by John Jay, and he's reminding Americans that they live in what will become the 13 new states right here. This is Georgia, and all the way up to Massachusetts, and what will eventually become Maine, that they need to stay united, that they are surrounded by maritime powers. These are countries, empires, that have lots of ocean-going ships. And they are surrounding the 13 new states. And John Jay is giving him more reasons that they should stay united instead of becoming 13 new countries or three or four new confederacies. These are some of the places where you can find wonderful resources, wonderful videos to learn about American history. Uh, 
on the founding of the United States, teaching American history, check out that website. It's very useful, very helpful. C-SPAN is probably the best resource you will find to learn about America. They have an archive with thousands of videos that you can learn from. So make sure you go to C-SPAN's website and look at the lectures. You can look up people by their names. And it's wonderful. It's a wonderful resource. Another place you can go is loc.gov, which is Library of Congress. And that is a wonderful place to look at videos, uh, to read things. Their videos are closed captioned. So it is really easy for people who are English language learners to use that as a resource. Another place that is doing, gradually doing better job uh, and there's wonderful videos and learning material is National Constitution Center. Okay, now I'll switch to Farsi. Inu tu tarjumay avval u dovumam sad mertebe rajibe این وبسایت ها مخصوصا سی اسپن گفتم برای اینکه تاریخ آمریکا رو و فرهنگ آمریکا رو یاد بگیرید چرا میگم فرهنگ و تمدن و تاریخ چون توی سی اسپن و لایبرری اف کانگرس ال او سی دات گاف چون نه تنها میتونید متنای تاریخی رو ببینید یا سخنرانی هایی که اساتید مختلف راجع به تاریخ میکنن بلکه میتونید صدها شاید هزارها ویدیو گیر بیارید یا متن گیر بیارید که تمدن آمریکا رو صحبت میکنه مثلا توی سی اسپن یه سری انجام دادن راجع به نویسنده های آمریکا اونا رو بشینید ببینید خیلی قشنگه قشنگ میبرنتون توی محلی که اینا زندگی میکردن با اساتید خبره صحبت میکنن بعد توی این سی اسپن مخصوصا میتونید کلی تا دلتون بخواد تاریخ آمریکا رو دقیق تاریخ و ادبیات و دین و سخنرانی ها راجب دین توی آمریکا دارن مثلا فرهنگ و تمدن رو درست حسابی نگاه میکنن توی loc.gov و c-span The National Constitution Center of Teaching American History فقط تکیه به تاریخ و قانون قانون اساسی آمریکا میکنن خب تو این قسمت گفتیم جانجه داره میگه حواستون باشه باید متحد بمونید چون یادتون نره که شما ها surrounded احاطه شدید با maritime powers maritime powers این امپراتوری های فرانسه و انگلیس و اسپانیا رو داره میگه که اینا کلی جزیره های مستمره دارن توی همین کارائیب کشتی هاشون هم چپ و راست میره انگلیس که دو مرتبه اومده اینجا شده آقا بالا سر حله کانادا رو گرفته اسپانیا هم که اینجا و تمام آمریکای جنوبی و لاتین و اینا رو دستشه غیر از اون نامنطقه برزیل که دست پرتغالی ها بود فرانسه هم که هنوز کلی توی اون من جزار کارائیب مستعمره داره روزا بینگه اینا ولتون نمیکنن کشتیرانی دارن ناوگان دارن جدا بشید از همدیگه میان میشن آقا بالا سر رو گردتون سوار میشن بینتون دشمنی و خسامت خسومت میدازن چون میخوان ضعیف نگرتون دارن به خاطر اون میگه حواستون باشه 